With Grand Seiko getting more and more collectors and watch enthusiasts lusting after its catalogue, the brand's fan community gets wider. Thanks to the brand's rich, legendary history, there is always something new and exciting to discover. No matter how seasoned and well-versed you are about this Japanese watchmaker, you'd be stunned by how little you know and how much there is to learn about its watches, those who craft them and those who assemble them. Think you're a devoted fan? Keep watching to find out 10 of the things you didn't know about Grand Seiko. 1. What makes a Grand Seiko a Grand Seiko? Have you ever wondered what makes a Grand Seiko stand head and shoulders above the rest? If you have no idea, you may want to pay close attention. The principles that make the brand so good can be boiled down to three categories, legibility, accuracy and durability. To start with, everyone needs a watch that can be read. Grand Seiko understands this and it's one of the things they don't compromise on. Why do you think no Grand Seiko comprises black dials and black markers and black hands? It'd be difficult to read. Each of their offerings has a high level of finishing found on the hands and markers. With the loom present in the dial, things go up a notch. For the second category of accuracy, just take a look at its revolutionary spring drive movements. The brand takes extra care to ensure its timepieces have an insane level of precision. The cherry on top is that every Grand Seiko watch is crafted to be highly durable to further ensure its accuracy and withstands the test of time. Speaking of durability, have you ever noticed certain Grand Seiko movements and cases are quite thick and robust? A lot of people may think of it as a design flaw, but that's far from the case. Rather than being a mistake, it ensures the longevity of its components while still adding an extra layer of robustness, so to speak. That is why Grand Seiko watches tend to be durable and last long. 2. The Brand's Difficult Watchmaker Training while it goes beyond saying that watchmaking is a never-ending learning curve as watchmakers have to constantly learn newer techniques and hone their skills, Grand Seiko takes things to a higher level. You see, while the traditional WOSTEP certification program, which is a path for people who want to work with Swiss watch-made watches, requires two years of full-time study and about 3,200 hours of training before being qualified to bag a diploma. Have you ever wondered how things work at Grand Seiko? For the Japanese brand, there are three levels of watchmakers, bronze, silver and gold, with bronze being the lowest and gold being the highest. To become a member of the bronze category, you need to learn for about 10 years. Yes, you heard that right. To become an entry-level watchmaker for Grand Seiko, you'd need to learn for eight years longer than the traditional WOSTEP certification program. However, there is a way to bypass this. A student with immense talent and skill is liable to test out early. 3. Grand Seiko only became a global brand in 2010. A lot of people may find this hard to believe, but until 2010, Grand Seiko was relatively unknown outside Japan. The timepieces were reserved for only the local market in Japan. As a matter of fact, you'd be hard pressed to find anything about Grand Seiko in magazines at the time. However, 2010 marked a significant shift for the brand. Grand Seiko began to gain popularity in markets outside Japan. But why? You see, people began to notice the high quality in appearance and superb Japanese touches when handling the watch. Within the short period of 13 years, Grand Seiko took advantage of the buzz they were getting and made serious waves in the market. Promising undeniable quality, severe dedication to craftsmanship and unbelievable accuracy to those who dared to take a bet on them. 4. The Handmade Character of Grand Seiko Timepieces in today's world of luxury watches, handmade and handcrafted are two of the most easily misused words. While the latter is more artisanal, in the sense skilled workers use tools and machinery in particular craft along with their hands, the former indicates being solely made with hands alone. While Grand Seiko points out something to be handmade, they mean every bit of it, no questions asked. Just visit the Shinshu Watch Studio in Nagano and witness Grand Seiko watchmakers exhibit their skill in making its spring drive and 9F quartz watches. You'd be more than impressed, to say the least. 5. Being good enough is never enough. 
For most watch brands out there, less emphasis is placed on the movement. Whether in-house or mechanical, as long as it is good enough, they're good with it. However, in Grand Seiko, being good enough is never enough. The brand pays immense attention to its watch's functionality. It's almost like they're allergic to playing second fiddle to other brands. Take a look at the 9SA5, high beat movement with a power reserve of 80 hours that took center stage in 2020. For Grand Seiko, being the best means being the best. Technicalities don't count. 6. Grand Seiko's prized Zaratsu polishing is not what you think. Inasmuch as Grand Seiko watches are known to be durable, accurate, amazingly detailed and technologically astute, one thing is almost like a marrow to its bones. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about none other than the famous Zaratsu polishing technique. For those who aren't too aware, this is a polishing technique where lapping machines are used to polish cases, except the front of the rotating wheel is used in place of its side. While normal polishing cases are sometimes uneven and have a weird distortion when light is being reflected on them, the Zaratsu technique makes its case smooth and free from distortions while still having a mirror polish on the surface. Sometimes referred to as blade polishing, did you know craftsmen for the brand have to train for about five years on how to practice this technique before working on cases that are sold to customers? 7. Pictures would never be able to give justice to a Grand Seiko timepiece. To put it plainly, you'd never be able to fully appreciate the glory of a Grand Seiko watch from pictures alone. Whether you're admiring its dials, staring at its hands or drooling over its markers, Grand Seiko timepieces leave no detail feeling lacklustre. Just walk into a store and take a Grand Seiko watch up. You'd never want to see a picture of it again. Number 8. Every element of a Grand Seiko watch communicates in perfect harmony. If you didn't know this already, Grand Seiko doesn't just make a watch without a clear plan. Every element used in moulding the watch is carefully selected and designed to interact with light and each other in a special way. Do you remember what we said about pictures not doing justice to Grand Seikos? No matter how hard you try, pictures can never tell the full story. One may argue other high-end brands have a similar appeal to watch buyers, but do they beat a Grand Seiko's appeal? No. The brand knows what kind of effect they want to transmit to its buyers and just how to do it. 9. How Grand Seikos Have Blue Hands if you've held a Grand Seiko and carefully examined it, you're certain you've noticed its beautiful blue hands. However, have you ever wondered how they do it? While many brands use chemicals to dye their parts blue or even use oven-like machines in batches, the aforementioned methods lack consistency, which is one of the ever-growing reasons why Grand Seiko is so underrated. When a specialist from Grand Seiko is making the hands blue, they handle things with such care that it is the only thing they do all day. They monitor the second hands or the similar power reserve hands without using a timer. Did you know that they only use their eyes to tell if it's the perfect shade of blue? They only take off the heat when that happens. You probably think it's such a time-consuming method, aren't you? While that is true, the crucial thing for the brand is getting its all-important consistency. The temperature or even the humidity in a room is largely inconsistent, and if they were to use a fixed time, little metrics could make disparities in the shades of blue, and that's something Grand Seiko never compromises. 10. Grand Seiko loves their Easter eggs for starters, Easter eggs are images, features, videos or other content intentionally hidden in any work of art or object to either foreshadow what is to come or reveal any fun concept or historical fact when found. But did you know that Grand Seiko practices this often? Not a lot of people know this, but in the caliber 9R01, between the equivalent of 9 o'clock and 1 o'clock on the movement side, the bevel depicts Mount Fuji, which can be viewed from their Micro Artist Studio. The screws, jewels and small circular cutouts in the caliber's centre represent the city lights of Suwa that surround the Micro Artist Studio at night. How about the Caliber 9R65? If you hold the watch upright from the 6 o'clock side, the Tokyo stripes would be aligned across the rotor and main plate of the movement. Also, if you check above the larger gear, you'd find a smaller one. Did you know that the latter and the area surrounding it represent the Japanese Alps found outside the factory where the movement was assembled? 
So many Easter eggs are hiding in plain sight, waiting to be seen and depicted.